Hey guys, Sandy here with episode 4 of The Road to Glory. Um, I finally kind of figured out how to fix my problem with iMovie, so the episode should be coming out probably like once a day now. Uh, sorry about like how long they were taking before, but for some whatever reason they just really weren't, the iMovie just really wasn't working, so I apologize about that, but now it's up and running again, so no worries, and... As you guys saw there, I bought myself a Zarate. He plays for uh, Inter Milan. He's Argentinian. Really good player, really quick, really good dribbling, and a pretty decent shot. And also, he's got a really good um, passing. He's like 79 passing, I think, something like that. Maybe even just 70, but for a striker, that's really good. Uh, as you saw, he came in the center forward position because the striker, like, he comes as a center forward. So when people make him as a striker, they sell him for, they tend to sell him for much more. So wasn't really willing to spend that much on him. Um, but yeah, as you see there, Kakachuka starts us off well with a nice goal. And then here, nice chip through ball to Zarate, who shows off some nice skill. Um, he's got four star skill moves, which is another reason uh, that I like using him. But uh, as you see there, he didn't really finish it off. His finishing isn't the best, but he puts the team in pretty good situations. Like, you can get some nice rebounds like that. Um, but yeah, he's not the best finisher, but he, he gets the job done. He gets open to score a lot so that usually makes up for the fact that he doesn't really finish that well but like I think it was in this game I think he had about 20 shots to be honest with you like 20 shots I think 19 or something on target I don't know but I think I actually show the stat here but he uh, should have had a lot more goals but he didn't yeah look no it wasn't 20 but that was, that was pretty far off but yeah it was 11 shots on goal and 12 shots in general so um couldn't really put it away he only had one goal I think but you know, I mean, he produced all those chances, so you can't really complain about that, and that guy had a pretty good keeper, too, so, um, we got the win, so that's really all that matters, and then, wasn't really happy with the defense, um, the way they've been playing, not in that last game, but just in general, so go out and buy myself a K.A.R., he plays for Roma, uh, I think he's on loan, uh, from Wolfsburg, uh, he's Den uh, Danish, um, played pretty well in the, uh, Euros, as far as I know, um, so yeah, pretty good player in general, um, so hopefully he can hold down the uh, center back position, but Milanovic, the uh, bronze, I think he's Serbian center back, I'm not really sure, but uh, my bronze, other bronze center back is pretty good, surprisingly, even though he's just a bronze player, he's got pretty good stats and performed pretty well in the field, so as you guys see here, go up against an all English, uh, English squad, and he's got mostly bronze silver players, but then he's got a Joe Hart in goal and a of course, an egg bomb the whore up top, so you can probably, as far, like, I'm not exactly sure what happens in this game, but I'm sure that egg bomb the whore scored some kind of cheap goal, but as you see, there's Rate, nice little bit of skill, and then finishes well into the bottom corner, and then Destro plays a nice through ball out to Quadrado on the wing, who has some nice precision dribbling, and then Zarate just gets completely wiped out in the box, so we got a penalty, and... This guy was not too happy with it, but, uh, and Aquilani steps up, he's got, oh, no, we switched to Zarate, but, um, go right back to Aquilani, I'm pretty sure. Uh, didn't mean to leave that extra video in, sorry about that, but then Aquilani, I'm not sure if I've told you guys this, but on my penalties, I, every single time, I just go straight into the top shelf, like, right under the crossbar, the goalie can't really, like, if... The goalie just stand. Even if he just stands there, he won't save it. He the uh, guy actually has to press up, which a lot of people don't even know. So it's pretty much impossible um, unless you're like familiar with it. So I definitely recommend that. It's a really good tip uh, for penalties, but you got to make sure you get it under the crossbar, not over, because that's just frustrating if you don't. Um, here, I think Milanovic got taken out, and then Aquilani steps up again. Nice free kick. I think that might have been the first free kick of the series. Um, not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure it was, so nice way to uh, get the first free kick goal. And then here, Aquilani once again on a set piece, I think it's his third, uh, puts it in. And then Gian Donato has a really nice header into the bottom corner. And that's just in the first half, so I think we went up 4 to nothing in the first half. And then another set piece from Aquilani to Gian Donato, finishing it off. Uh, nicely for his second of the game and the fifth goal for the team and then once again an Aquilani set piece to Milanovic who finishes for the sixth goal of the game and 
Zerate kind of crappy skill and <laughs> steals it and then just rockets it into the top corners. Pretty lucky goal there, um, but I'm not going to complain. And then here I thought I wanted to get uh, Kair his goal on his debut for the club and sure enough he gets fouled in the box and steps up well and takes the penalty. I, I know I say well a lot too much, but oh well. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. But anyway, so I finished that penalty pretty well. I didn't actually go to the top uh, top of the net at that time. I think it was actually like he's so bad at penalties that it just went pretty much anywhere even though I was trying to go to the top uh, corner. Or maybe I just did that because he knew that I was going to do that already. Um, but yeah. We won 8 to nothing, got a nice amount of coins. If we had the DNF modifier where it should be, would have been much better off, but can't complain too much because we got the win. And then, but you go, I'm going to go check out this squad, and I realized that running low on contracts, so I go buy myself a bronze pack. And um, we didn't really get much in this pack, but we got a nice uh, silver, um, or sorry, not silver, uh, bronze English player. Um, Pretty good pace, and he came in the 4-3-3, and he's a striker, so I'm pretty sure he sold for 200 coins. I'd be surprised if he didn't, and then I'm going to think back. Both of these guys actually sold for 200, so I already made profit off that pack, and that is pretty much going to do it for this episode, guys, so be sure to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment below, and also let me know which team you want to win the Euro Cup um, with the remaining four teams, and yeah, see you guys next time.